Hello my friends, Liberty Garden. So I came back to the tree where I had gotten my other corner post and came back to harvest a few more posts because there's a lot of good wood in this tree. So I got these two more posts. They're about seven feet tall. Uh, this smaller one will make a good center brace. And this back one here could make a good uh, a good corner post. It's a little crooked, but it doesn't matter. The, the cows don't really pay much attention to that. And then I got another limb, another the other side of the tree. I got this beauty here. It's about eight feet. Well, I got eight inches at the bottom. Tapers down to about six inches, right where I need it, which is uh, the eight uh, eight foot mark, right around there. So that's gonna become another another uh, corner post. And then I still got about from that from from there right there. I still got about another six feet left of, of a solid post that I can use on that side also. Uh, so a lot of good uses for this for this tree. And uh, it got a little mangled up here because uh, well, my fault. I didn't I didn't cut deep enough into it on this side. So when I cut from the other side, it, it just opened up there. But that's okay. It's the, the remainder of this tree will become firewood. So. It doesn't matter. These trees are uh, called the uh, hedge apple, boat arcs, um, bows du arc, which is the French word because they make uh, uh, bows out of them. They're super strong. And uh, they're male and female. You see all those apples. This is, this is called a horse apple. And uh, these apples, if you're working underneath one of these trees in the fall, <laughs> they'll drop one in your head. They're, they're, they're pretty dense. It's not going to crack open your head, but uh, you'll feel it. They're pretty dense. And back in the days before the advent of uh, barbed wire, uh, they used to build uh, hedgerows with these trees. So they would take these apples in the fall, plant them along a, a row where they wanted a fence. And in the, in the spring when they started emerging, the saplings started emerging, they would just uh, inter, intertwine the, the saplings and they would start building a fence like that. They said that these fences were uh, hog tight, bull strong, and horse high. That was the that was the, the what they used to 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 say about these hedge hedgerows. And then along came uh, barbed wire and um, and uh, these uh, th th those hedgerows ended up being becoming railroad ties. Uh, people started using them for railroad ties or. They would use them for the pickets, for the fence pickets. So they would they would take the a, a, tr uh, a trunk like this, like let's say this one, like this one, and they would split it in half, and they would make two or three uh, two or three uh, fence posts. That was before the T posts were so popular, and that's what the, that's how these. So they continue to be very useful for fences. And the reason they're so useful for fences is because they, they'll last 100 years. They don't rot. As a matter of fact, a lot of the houses in this area, in this county, are pier and beam houses because the black, the black clay soil is, uh, moves a lot with, uh, with the, when it gets wet and when it gets dry. So a lot of the houses, instead of having foundations, uh, concrete slabs, they use pier and beams. And the beams are often made of boater trees because they just don't rot. By the way, a little history about these trees. They're real good trees. They're also very invasive. They get in the they get in the way, <laughs> and they'll snag you or they'll cut you. Um, and, and all these apples, you know, all these apples will be like new trees that grow. No, nobody eats these damn apples. Now, although I've seen a guy on YouTube eat these apples, which uh, I don't know. I, I gotta think the guy was pretending to like the apples because shit. I mean. Uh, I've, I've cut up in those things, they, they look nasty. And this guy grilled them and put honey on them and kind of make, made them seem appetizing. And I guess he he was holding he was holding a smile when he was eating them. But man, I, 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 I can't see any, anybody eating this crap. The only ones that I think eat them a little bit are might be the squirrels, but that's about it. But even, even the pigs don't even touch them. You know, like the hogs and stuff, they, they don't touch this crap. Uh, horses don't eat them definitely they, even though they're called horse apples the, the horses don't eat this stuff so i really don't know what they're good except for propagating the tree but anyway so yeah so this tree <laughs> every one of these apples has the potential of becoming a, a tree or many trees because they're, they're full of seeds right now 
<laughs> and I've seen <laughs> I've seen people on, on Etsy, believe it or not, if you look at or search up search uh, uh, horse apple on Etsy, there's a couple of clowns out there selling these things by the dozen. And some people are buying them. It's like, man, <laughs> get in get in touch with me. I'll send you freaking as many as you want. <laughs> pay, pay, just pay the shipping and handling. But uh, I don't know who would want to plant a tree like this in their backyard. You know, they're a pain in the ass. Uh, they, 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 they had their purpose back in the day. And, and right now they're just, uh, well, I mean, with I mean, people just buy now finished posts and everything. So nobody uses, they don't use them too much. Although, if you ever want to buy a, a good post, I mean, some people, whenever they're clearing land and stuff like that, some people do get these posts, especially on, on older on older trees that have a eight inch eight inch limbs that are more or less. You can get a, a good eight foot long post out of it. Uh, these posts sell for about thirty five dollars a piece. They're expensive, but they're uh, there's a reason why they're expensive. They're a pain in the ass to cut. They're, they're a pain in the ass to carry everything. It's a pain in the ass about these trees. So anyway, folks, thanks for watching. Until next time.